Josh Elliott. I'm a senior engineer with Mall Foster Longy. So we're about 30 miles from the mouth of the Columbia, and it's really a, a, a nice location for people coming down from Portland to stop. The, the town's got some great little local eateries and establishments, and the port's really trying to make this a, a focal point for, for boaters either coming up the Columbia or down the Columbia to stop over and spend some time and really invest in the community. So this, this marina is really key to that, that vision for the community. The port was having issues with sediment accumulation in the, the boat basin and in the slough that connects the, the marina to the Columbia River. And so they needed to do some maintenance dredging. They'd done some about 12 years earlier and the, the sediment had accumulated once again. And so we needed to, to get some permits in place so they could come back out and redredge. We started in summer of 2015 with an evaluation of the bathymetric survey and then we began the permitting process with the Army Corps, which was initially sediment characterization. Came out here and got some sediment cores, had those analyzed in accordance with our sampling plan, and then really found the sediment to be pretty clean. So there's a few different options for disposing of the material. First would be in-water disposal, which the sediment was eligible for, but we also looked at upland disposal in the adjacent sewage lagoons. And so those, those had been abandoned by the town when they constructed their new wastewater treatment plant. And so it was really an opportunity down on the waterfront for the port to make use of this material and kind of reclaim that land and, and really bring out a beneficial use of that sediment. And so those lagoons are, are owned jointly by the port and the town. There's kind of a dividing line. And so it was an opportunity for them to work together and really see a use for this material and really get both get value out of that material. We're standing at the uh, first sewage lagoon here where we're discharging dredge spoils uh, from the pipeline straight into the lagoon. It's kind of a ready-made sediment dewatering facility that Port was able to take advantage of. So following sediment characterization, we were able to demonstrate that this, the dredge spoils really would be a clean fill. And so we used the idea of a confined disposal facility to really reclaim this land and turn this into a, a usable feature for the town and for the, the port district. We used an unmanned aerial system, a UAS, to create a high resolution 3D map of the sediment placed in the former wastewater lagoons. We brought this 3D map into Autodesk Civil 3D and compared it with the prior topo survey of the bottom of the lagoons. We were able to give the port an estimate of the volume they dredged So with this uh, upland placement, the port was able to use their own equipment rather than having to hire barges to take material out to the Columbia. And they were able to turn that, that waste material, so that those dredge spoils, into uh, an opportunity for future economic development here on the waterfront. So you can see behind me the discharge from the outfall. That's the raw dredge spoils. They're able to settle out in this first lagoon a little bit. This lagoon's now full of sediment, so it transitions into the second lagoon where additional sedimentation can take place. And then the third lagoon is available behind the camera for polishing before it's able to be discharged back to the Columbia River. So rather than having to employ a bunch of active mechanical filtration, we, we took advantage of the, the existing features as we fill them up to really provide treatment and cut costs to the port. Mm -hmm. 